Let's talk about Simi. I have to agree with what they're saying that it's definitely people do that a lot when they go abroad and focus on people's problems in America and then we yeah. don't focus on our issues. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I'm because I'm, I'm I've lived like abroad with international people and stuff. So this conversation is in my circle, if that makes sense. And sometimes I just want to just out of I don't want to say bad belly, but like I'm being really deliberate and saying I don't want to talk about it because I feel like I have my own issues. Like black Nigerians have our own issue, like stepping up our issue because will you be this um, you know, like gingered about mine as I am to yours. Like, I understand America is powerful and there's influence and we're all global citizens, but I just feel like sometimes, you know, not, I don't have to make my problem your problem, but if I'm going to be honest and say that Simi's um, tweet was a bit offensive, I mean, I'm not, I'm not someone that has shied away from the fact that I support the LGBTQ community in Lagos, Nigeria, so um, I have a, pro a serious problem with the fact that she's promoting that, especially for somebody that I hold really high, um, esteem to, but I mean, it's to each man his own. You can't force everyone to believe something for whatever reason that they want to, mm -hmm. and she has a right to that. But if something is homophobic and it's infringing on somebody else's right to live how they want to live, then we have a different conversation yeah. to have. I, I actually know. resonate with what BC Anime is saying because to me, I feel like it is very funny. The truth is, before I became an ally to the LGBTQ community, it started from me believing that, okay, I had equal rights with, mm. you know, understanding the oppression that I've experienced as a woman mm. in Nigeria. Mm. If I can understand that oppression, yeah. if you can understand that oppression as a black person living yeah. in America, why can't you understand the oppression that the LGBTQ people face? Yeah. Why would you Why would you say, why are you selecting which mm. kind of oppression you would speak against? Yeah. So I understand where BC Alimi is coming from, where he points out to her that you cannot say, oh, human rights or black lives matter, and then when it comes to LGBTQ people, you are... You're like saying, oh, they're mm -hmm. not, na it's not natural yeah. because those were a state. That was yeah. what you know she said once upon a time in a video. And then if you, if people, so I think I people who are where watching this from. now are saying that, but that's different. Is because of my faith, or whatever. The still, the tr truth still remains that we're not asking white people to love black people. We're saying don't be racist. Exactly. You don't have to understand us, okay. or understand our characters, but at least accept us. I don't say accept what people, what the the, um, the LGBTQ community are doing and who they are screwing. Let them but live. Let them live their lives. Okay, so I like Simple. your choice of words because um, you're both agreeing to what each other is saying right but what you said that caught my attention was understanding right and if you remember T Simi's old tweets that came back she said I do not understand it it seems unnatural to me mm -hmm. the same way you can understand she doesn't understand mm -hmm. so what it's is simple what, what is there not what do you mean what is there not to understand she Check your go and watch discovery she channel see gay people understand. in all types of animals what are you going to force understand? her to understand she so now for instance oh, white person, 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 person says to you i don't understand why are you dark skin and why do you like why is your skin so black why do you like is not in america she's in a part of the world where homosexuality is not legal so i she's supposed to understand that if she lives in an environment ignorance is not excusable whether are you going to say, under a rock? Whether you live under a rock or you live wherever so when, you when, ignorance when, is not excusable. When slavery was legal, you're going to tell me that, that was a good enough excuse for a racist person to say, well, it was legal in my place and I just don't know. I didn't have, like, I couldn't use my brain to figure out that shit. Ignorance is not excusable. I will say the exact same thing if, uh, for Whether you live in Taringo or you example. live in Taraba, it's not excuse. You can't say, okay, because of this is where I come from, I don't want to understand. Where, ex a especially when there are LGBTQ people in Nigeria, Nigeria who are suffering and uh, who are being oppressed. Uh, uh, and who are crying out Nigeria, every single time. Are, are, gay, are homosexuals in Nigeria legal? That, that is, is what they are crying against. Exactly. That is Until the oppression is that they are suffering. Their problem isn't our problem. Wow. Ah. Until it is legal. You cannot be a human exactly. rights activist. If said, you I'm, just say that. Yes, until it is legal. How do you get it to be legal if it's not if your problem? If you are not crying, crying out, if you are not fighting. Then let the activists do the what job. What you are saying right now, what you are saying. sign it and say homosexuality is now legal in Nigeria. You sound like a racist white man. It was vegetable.